In this problem, we are trying to find the acceleration of the system that includes three masses. Two of the masses are attached to a third mass and hang over a frictionless pulley. The force of gravity acting on these masses will cause the system to accelerate. Before we start solving the problem, let's draw a free body diagram of the situation. We have three masses connected by strings. In the strings between the masses, there is tension, or a pulling force, but we do not include this force in our free body diagram because the tension of mass 1 on mass 3 cancels out the tension of mass 3 on mass 1. We are instead concerned about the weights of mass 1 and mass 2. The weights are the external forces that cause the system to accelerate. We stretch our free body diagram out horizontally so we can see how the weights counter one another. We will make weight 1 negative because it is pulling the system to the left and make weight 2 positive because it's going to the right. We will substitute in the correct masses for part A. Besides including the masses, we also include the formula for weight. W1 is equal to mass 1 times the acceleration due to gravity, and W2 is equal to mass 2 times gravity. When we input our values, we can see the force for weight 1 is 2.45 newtons. After inputting our values for W2, we find the force to equal 4.9 newtons. Now that we know both outside forces, we can find the acceleration of the system. We will use our net force formula. The sum of the forces is equal to the positive force W2 minus the force in the opposite direction W1. The entire system of blocks is being accelerated, so we sum all the masses together to get the total mass of the system. We input our values, sum them, and divide both sides by the total mass to find our acceleration. The acceleration is 2.45 meters per second squared. In part B, the masses change. We will add our new masses to the free body diagram and solve for our new weights. W1 is equal to 3.43 newtons is pulling the system in the negative direction. W2 is 1.47 newtons and is pulling the system in the positive direction. We can see that the negative force is larger than the positive force, so we can assume that the acceleration will be negative. To find the acceleration, we will use our net force equation. We will rewrite the equation with our variables, input our values, sum and divide by the total mass, and find our net acceleration to be negative 1.96 meters per second squared.